Scoreboard is based around the idea that you improve what you measure. This is a quick demo of the software and it shows you how three different types of people would use it. So if I were a typical employee, I'd care a lot about this home section that you first see when you log into the software. Over here in alerts, I can see that total gross profit has taken a turn for the worse and I can click on it to drill down, but I also see that I've got some responsibilities over here. I'm responsible for updating three KPIs, I own seven KPIs, and I own two tasks. So let's check out KPI updates. Now often you'll have scoreboard wired up so it's pulling values automatically from your database, but there are times when you'll need to manually update values, and these are the three I'm responsible for. So every month I'm going to log in and update the values for product costs, and training venue costs, and book production costs. And finally, I'm going to go to My KPIs. This shows all of the key performance indicators that I want to keep an eye on. I can filter down and just show the red ones. Now, keep in mind I'm already getting email alerts the second one of these turns red. It's just that the home section is a nice place for people to go to get an overall feel for what they're responsible for and how it's all performing. Another type of person who'd use Scoreboard is a high-level executive. They're going to spend a lot of their time in this bookmark section where they click through the top four or five screens that they really care about and then move on with their job. So here's a sales pipeline. It shows ad clicks going into leads and new trials and new customers. You can see we're not doing so hot here at the bottom, but we're doing just fine at the top. Here's a sales versus expenses dashboard. It shows me my top three revenue areas and my top four cost areas. You can see that all operating expenses are then broken down into the 10 operating expenses component KPIs like pension contribution and salaries and wages. Here's a effects of IT initiatives dashboard. You can see KPIs like network availability and IT effectiveness index and how they're being affected by these big initiatives we're tracking like migrate servers to the cloud or build a search engine optimization capability. And it's not just dashboards. Here's a red KPIs report that shows all of the red KPIs in the entire software, or the downward trending KPIs report that shows all the KPIs that are performing worse this month than last month. And finally, here's a migrate servers to the cloud initiative. Uh, scoreboard has some pretty smart algorithms that can predict whether you're going to be on time and under budget. And in this particular example, we're going to be 21 days late, but slightly under budget. And if you scroll down, you can see how your initiative has been performing over time. And that's high-level executives. They're going to click through their bookmarks in the morning and get a good feel for how the entire organization is performing. A third type of person who'd be using Scoreboard is a power user. Instead of using the bookmark section to see how they're performing, they're going to actually dig into the software and visit the individual sections. So we'll start with scorecards. And now for the first time, we have to choose an organization. This is my company's org tree, and I'll choose financial. So these are all the KPIs for my financial organization, and they're organized by key performance area. We can click on revenue and see all the KPIs underneath that, like product revenue, or training revenue, or book revenue. And you can see its current performance, as well as its performance over time. The scorecard section is a lot like a library where you organize all your important KPIs. And you can link them up to higher level organizations too. So we'll click on the financial organization. We'll go up to Mobile World Incorporated, our top level. And you can see these exact same KPIs show up underneath increased revenue up there. There's product revenue, training revenue. But then you can pull in other KPIs from other organizations. For example, here's a customer satisfaction survey. Now let's take a look at the initiative section. We've seen this migrate servers initiative before, but now let's look into the SEO capability initiative. We see we're going to finish early and under budget, but it's actually pulling up the budget and performance values from the underlying initiatives and milestones. So you can see at a high level which projects are going to finish on time and under budget. And the last section under foundation is the files section. You can upload things like PDFs or Word documents and link them to existing KPIs for supporting information. This is also where you want to store your corporate logo so it's available for use on all your dashboards. Speaking of dashboards, let's take a look at the three presentation sections. You've already seen this sales versus expenses dashboard, but here's a KPI history dashboard. You can click forwards or backwards in time. Here's a call center status dashboard. Now this is interesting because it shows KPIs, but it also shows content that's embedded from external websites. It could be another software product. In this example, it's Google Maps. 
here's charts and reports. Uh, you've seen this red KPIs report before, but here's some reports organized by department. For example, your sales overview. It's all the sales metrics for the last year or you know marketing metrics. And finally is the briefing section. Uh, once you've put together all of your dashboards and reports, you can assemble them in a single briefing and you can click through and lead meetings this way. Uh, the software is fully interactive, and so if you want to click on anything to drill down, for example, uh, someone asks a question about improve IT effectiveness, you can click on it, drill directly into the software. This little thing on the top uh, lets you know that you're still in the middle of a paused briefing, and you can click around and answer questions, you know, leave comments, you notes, that kind of thing. And then whenever you click the link, it'll be shot right back into your presentation, and you can resume where you left off. So that's Scoreboard. It helps you track your KPIs so you can improve your performance as an organization.